How's it going everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to connect your WordPress site to FileZilla. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple, and assuming that you guys are looking to upload some HTML files, or some TXT files, or PHP files to your WordPress site, or basically a restore a database that's saved to your uh, FileZilla account or any FTP application, well, this is the video for you. So. What you need to do first is you want to make sure that you're logged into your WordPress account as an administrator. And next, you guys want to make sure that your FileZilla install is installed. And um, because it's not an official plugin for um, WordPress, but otherwise an FTP, you would need to open the application. So once you guys open the application, um, this is what the dashboard looks like or the app looks like. Here's the window. So from here, you guys would want to click on Site Manager. And to do so is quite simple. You either click on the transfer tab or file and then site manager. So it'll take you to this page right here where you'll get to configure and essentially log in your WordPress account. So this information, uh, this information will pertain to the domain name, your login credentials for your WordPress account, as well as your name servers and the ports. So from here, you guys want to click on new site. So this button right here. And you'll be redirected to the page where you get to transfer uh, files or backup databases directly from your computer over to WordPress. So this is what the uh, this is the remote site or basically WordPress in this case, and this is our computer. So to actually integrate it or transfer some HTML files over to WordPress, it's quite simple. You guys would want to click on Site Manager again, and go to the General tab. And here you'll be met with a bunch of different configurations and options. So under protocol, there's SSH, there's um, was the one for cryptocurrency or blockchain technology. But anyway, because we're trying to update a, or not update, upload a database to our WordPress site, we're going to stick with FTP or file transfer protocol. So from here, you want to click on host basically fill in the information. So the host will be the domain name as well as the port. Well, not uh, I should say the name server with the IP address and everything. And you wanna enter your login credentials right here. It looks a little something like this, as you can see, and make the connection. So once you guys make the connection, you can simply transfer files over to your WordPress site and upload it. So yeah, there you guys have it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guys like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support to that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.